Hey, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog and the Caddis Fly Shop. This is Jay Nicholas, and we are going to tie a Mexican flag fly here. Uh, it's a deceiver style. It's a hollow fly uh, style, and it, you could be used to fish this for darn near anything that's aggressive and an, an aggressive predator that eats other fish. Uh, this is much in the genre of uh, several flies we've done already. Um, and I always start. Uh, I'm, at the moment, I'm very fond of the Arex Predator Stinger Hooks. And I start these flies with, um, with a bucktail tail. And uh, I add in uh, a number of feathers, sometimes on top. Uh, sometimes at the side. These are all going on at the side. And I trim these before I put them on. That makes a, a lot less bulk uh, when, you're, uh, when you're moving forward on your fly. And I'm using the, the color theme here is Mexican flag. Red, yellow, and green. I've had very good success with this fly fishing for albacore off the Oregon coast. And it, uh, it kind of speaks to me <laughs> as a uh, peacock bass, dorado, and musky, pike, uh, you name it. So I'm going to put in a little bit of flash uh, here on the tail. This is a stage uh, I'm very much optional on. Um, as I'm very um, highly variable on the color, of the uh, the flashable I'll use. This is something a lot of personal preference here. Now this first uh, this first uh, batch of bucktail is not tied hollow style. It's intended here to uh, to kind of uh, provide a halo to the uh, to the feathers. And by the way, these feathers can be much much longer than this. Uh, the, these are what I call kind of modest length. These are strung saddles. Sometimes I will mix my bucktail colors. I might do red and yellow and green. Uh, mix them up, comb them. Uh, on this fly, I'm doing uh, yellow separately. Uh, I'm doing red separately, and I'm doing green separately. And it, uh, I think both method methods come out looking really good. Of course, uh, in keeping with the hollow style tradition, um, tie them forward, push them back, and then uh, wind a thread dam uh, rather than wrapping over the bucktail. I'm putting, uh, this is a heavy uh, lateral scale. It's a saltwater lateral scale, much thicker. So I went yellow. Uh, red, green, here I'm back to yellow again, uh, pushing this back. And uh, by the way, this is a sunrise yellow. You could, uh, oh gosh, all these, as you know, all these colors, uh, not only are, are they variable according to your tastes and what you're trying to either imitate or um, trigger, in, in a fish's response. Uh, but even from bucktail to bucktail, the, the colors will vary considerably. Uh, I, I always trim my bucktail before I tie it in. And uh, gosh, sometimes it just flares so nicely. Uh, this is flaring pretty nicely. These, this bucktail is actually not as long as I would like the fibers to be. Uh, these are about uh, three and a half inch fibers, a uh, hair length. I'd much rather be working with four and a half, five inch hair, but uh, you know, I buy a lot of bucktail, and you just it, it it just isn't as long as you you'd like it sometimes. So you you sort through what you've got, and then you use what the shorter stuff too. And I make a point of doing that. Uh, when I'm tying these flies, because I know that's what everybody else is up against. Here comes my green. And you will, when you're using bucktail of different colors in the same fly, you will certainly see that the texture of the bucktail in each fly will, uh, will vary considerably, as will the length sometimes. Um, 
So part of the skill, part of the craftsmanship as a fly tire is being able to adapt your skill set to materials that are a little bit less than absolutely spot on perfect. So you see, I'm, I'm, uh, whether I showed it or not, I'm adding a little touch of super glue, zap a gap, that, that sort of thing at every, every stage along the way. These flies take a good 30 minutes to tie, um, sometimes longer. Uh, sometimes a little bit less, but not much. There, there's a lot going on with these flies. They're, they're very physical flies to tie. This is my finishing, um, my finishing uh, a hollow tie. And you notice uh, I did not manage to get it all spun around. So I tied it on top and bottom. Uh, sometimes that's just what you do to, to get complete coverage. And also, if you're going to do, say, if I was going to do uh, green on top and red underneath, I'd do it uh, uh, just as I did here, top and then bottom, or bottom and then top. I find uh, the Pro Sport Fisher Gen 3 Jungle Cock eyes are really, really nice way to finish these flies. I tend not to glue on eyes. Here's the same fly tied with a green in front instead of red. I hope you have fun tying these and I hope, uh, hope you join us again soon. Thank you very much.